in this lecture we will see how to create a south elevation view if you go to the page number 4 you can see the south elevation view if you go to the page number 5 you can see all the detailed dimensions and all as per this dimension need to create this elevation view first we will create uh, this one you can see this two column and we can create this roof also just go to here select here elevation layer go to the line click here make it up to here finish the floor level select this one go to the copy click here click here and click here click here also press escape key we need to make you can see we need to make like this this is actually roof level this one is roof 6 inch go to the offset 6 inch press enter this is our roof select this one offset this side and again one more offset then go to the rectangle click here click here press enter repeat the same select this two line delete it then go to the trim tool just trim this one then go to the stretch stretch this one press enter click here make it up to here select this one delete it go to the line create here also line press enter repeat the same here also next we need to make it uh, this design go to here go to the line click here make a line like this and make a one line like this also then go to the offset make it 3 inch press enter select this one make it this side 3 inch make it this side you can see here this one 3 inch and this also 3 inch next to 2 feet this side and downside also 2 feet press escape key go to the offset make it 2 feet press enter select this one offset this side and select this one offset this side then go to the trim just trim this one select this line delete it next we need to make it uh, this six feet we need to make it this line for six feet from this location go to the offset six feet press enter select this line offset here then go to the trim trim this one and trim this one trim this one also press escape key select this one click here and make it up to here then go to the offset we need to offset this one it is 6 inch 6 inch then select this one offset this side we can make a rectangle also that is better select this one copy click here place it here you can see the gap between these two things 2 inch go to here select this one go to the move command click here 2 inch press enter select this one copy click here place it like this now this one is finished you can see this also if you want you can make it a uh, completely close the object if you want you can make it 
that is better when you create a 3d you can easily finish it select this all the thing j type j in your keyboard press enter now this one is joined like this but this location it is not joined properly just keep as it is or if you want you can make it join now this one is ready next we need to create here also line then only we can join properly then go to here join or you can type j in your keyboard press enter you can see this one is joined next we need to create this rectangle this one you can see the length is 3 feet plus 3 inch from this line total this line to this line total 3 feet 3 inch and this width is 1 feet go to here go to the rectangle click any location i just click here go to the dimension 3 feet 3 inch press enter 1 feet press enter click here next we need to move this rectangle from this location down it is 6 inch select this one go to the move command click here make it 6 inch press enter select this one go to the move command make it this side 3 inch press enter then go to the trim tool just trim this area next we need to make it uh, this one for 8 inch go to the rectangle click here go to the dimension make it 8 inch press enter 8 inch press enter click here select this one go to the move command make it this side 2 inch select this one press enter repeat the same this side also 2 inch now this one is placed perfectly you can see here next uh, we need to make it uh, this arrangement for that from this end this line 7 feet 6 inch from this line go to the offset 7 feet 6 inch press enter select this one offset inside this line next we need to make it this line for 6 feet 9 inch go to the offset 6 feet 9 inch press enter select this one offset this side next we need to make uh, offset from this location to this location it is 4 feet press escape key go to the offset 4 feet press enter select this one offset here then go to the trim trim this one and trim this one select this delete it then go to the join join this one next we need to make uh, this continuous line up to this end go to polyline click here and click here first press escape key press enter repeat the same command before that just go to the polyline or line any tool you can use it go to here click this end extend here extend up to here we need to make it uh, this one up to this end edge of this wall go to the polyline click here make it up to here make it this one for 4 inch or just go to the join select this one and select this one select this one press enter then go to the offset 
4 inch press enter select this one offset this side then go to the line make a line here and make a line here also again go to the join select this one and select this one select this also press enter now this one is completely joined next go to the line click here make a line up to here then go to the trim tool i just trim this one this one actually same arrangement we have this side also if you go to the pdf you can see this arrangement actually this is our south side if you look from this side you can see this one if you go to the 3d view you can see very clearly we are asking about this face if you look from this is our south if you look from this side you can see this face also that is this one go to the south elevation view we need to make it this one you can see this one this size is 4 inch gap is 2 inch go to here we need to make it from this location for that go to the offset 4 inch press enter select this one make it 4 inch select this one make it like this then go to the rectangle click here and click here press escape key select this one delete it select this one copy click here make it 6 inch because this one 4 inch and this one 2 inch 4 plus 2 total 6 inch now if you go to the dimension linear click here you can see the gap you will get it 2 inch select this one copy click here place it here repeat the same few more quantity finish so this is enough now this area this design is finished next we need to create this area design this one we will see in next lecture